Hello everybody, welcome back to another VR video. Today we're doing a VR, so don't forget to save. Uh, as you can tell, it is the Friday the 13th one. Uh, it is hashtag Operation Choose Your Own Jason, and I have a joke. Okay, hello everybody. We're all here. We got JR, AJ, Hi. Brother Max, and myself. They can't see you when you make hand gestures. You gotta say hi. Hi. I was gonna say hola, oh, uh, but. Okay. okay. So we're making this video for Sam over at Don't Forget to Save. Because we're trying to. Uh, he was the force behind Free Jason. And now that Jason's free, we're trying to help figure out who we think should be the next Jason. For the either the movie or the TV show that's coming out, so we're here to give you our stories and give you who we think should be Jason. The four of us have uh, talked and everything else, and this is actually very distracting. <laughs> We've talked about who we want for to be Jason and everything else. So, um, yeah. Hey, Jerry, you wanted to tell a joke? Go right ahead. Okay. So, what does Jason call his kid? It's, I don't know. Ace, ace, ace. Okay, then. That was brutal. It was okay. hilarious. So, um, we might as well grab the phones out because we're all going to need them to show pictures of who we think. <laughs> who wants to start? Oldest, youngest, or youngest, oldest? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So sure. the youngest is who? AJ. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So AJ, what we want to do, what you want to do is say what Jason means to you, and if you have any Jason stories, or what, basically, why do you like Friday the 13th and Jason? So. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> right, let's, uh, okay, so uh, me, me, AJ, and Max all have the same story. Uh, we, at our old house, we all kind of like, we, Eric, Eric, brother Eric was also there, yep. and we sat down and we watched the first four Friday the 13th movies. You guys said you wanted a good movie to watch, so I recommended <laughs> Friday, the Friday the 13th series. And we yeah. also made it a rule that all four of us had yeah. to be there to watch it. And they, so, they can't watch any more of it unless all four are together. And so so they, they've watched, now finished the four, fourth one? Yes, and we need to watch five and six by ourselves. Yes, I know you guys will watch five and six. I've watched them all, by the way. Yeah. Okay, so AJ, who is your pick? Who do you think should be Jason for the upcoming TV or movie? Oh, that's bright. Yeah, that is very Way too bright. So you guys might want to turn your brightness down on all your phones. Oh, I guess we get mine ready, too. There you go. This is Glenn Jacobs, otherwise... Try to stand up and get in the... Block that glare. A little bit more. There you go. Okay. Go ahead. That is Glenn Jacobs, otherwise known as Kane from WWE. He would be the perfect Jason because he's very tall. Oop, wrong one. Go ahead. Keep talking. Uh, he's, he's very tall and uh, Jason doesn't talk and Kane doesn't talk very much either. So he would be perfect. Plus, he's the he's just as tall as Jason, I think. Well, it depends. Depends on which yeah. Jason movie you watch. He's a different height each time. Yeah. But yes, he is very. I know he's over six feet. I can't tell you exactly how tall he is. But he he's also was in the horror movie See No Evil and See No Evil Two, where he played the major villain. Um, he's definitely got the luck if you look at the picture there. Um, yeah. We've got the, in case you're wondering why it's so red in behind, we've got a red stripper light on here so we can give it kind of a little bit of ambiance. But yeah, so that's AJ's pick for who he thinks should be uh, the new Jason. Okay, Max? Okay, um, just give me a name here to try and find my picture. Oh, I thought you already had it. I, I, I can I go. was trying to figure out his height, and I didn't have enough time to do that. Sorry, right, but... you don't really need his height. Um, they can do do things in films to make the person look bigger. So, um, this is Thomas, isn't it? Thomas Savini. 
Thank you, AJ. Um, the reason I think he'd be good is because they were showing some pictures on Google that shows like him at like 72, and he was like jacked, like 80s type jacked. Like, and and it was pretty good. Like, and I think he'd be good. He's also a makeup artist, so he can also help on the set with that. And that, that's pretty much my reason. And he has the height, so yeah. Okay. All right, so that's Max's pick. They are any? Do you, do you have any Jason stories, or are you guys all the same story and you're done with it? Uh, I I guess I can say that. Go uh, so right ahead. The Friday the Thirteenth Eight Movie Film Collection that's right here. Uh, we bought that in the states, I think it was. Yeah. And so me and Asia watched the first two movies. Coming home from the states. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After we bought it. Okay, go ahead and put your your pick in. So I don't. Exactly know how to pronounce his first name, like <laughs> Te Teomi. Teomi. Uh, it's the Rock. Tenoy, I think. Yeah, it's the Rock stunt double. Tenoy Reed. And cousin. His uh, cousin in stunt double. So he's got. He's definitely got the size and the height. And being a, a being that he's a stunt double as well, we've all picked all of our guys that we're picking were either wrestlers or stunt double or stunt people that do their own wrestlers that do their own stunts. So that's one of the reasons we picked them. But that, that's who JR picked. Now, with me, I'm going to show you the picture, but I've got a couple stories to pick to tell you first. First off, my uh, my pick is Tyler Maine, who's a Canadian actor stuntman. Um, he was Sabretooth in the X-Men movie. He was Michael Myers in the remake, the Rob Zombie remakes of Halloween. <clears throat> Excuse me. Plus plenty of other movies and whatnot. He's almost, he's over, uh, well over six feet, and he's a stunt man, so he can do his own stunts. Um, but I got a couple of Jason stories. One is, uh, years ago, my oldest brother, my parents had went away. My oldest brother, I think I was, I'm gonna say probably 11-ish, maybe somewhere in around there. Anyway, my brother was babysitting us, and he thought it would be funny to put on Friday the 13th for me and my little brother. So we sat there and we watched the first Friday the 13th movie and then he sent us to bed. Um, needless to say, we lived in an old house. We were on the second floor. We had bunk beds. Um, I was on the bottom, my little brother was on the top, but we heard creaking coming up the stairs. So we, of course, were starting to freak out a little bit as 10, 11 year olds would. Um, we hear the squeak, it's squeaking, and then we'd start talking, and it would stop, and then you'd hear a little bit more squeaking, the thing was coming closer. Next thing we know, my oldest brother jumps into the doorway wearing a snowmobile, or a pair of coveralls, and he had a paper bag over his head and the goalie mask on. So needless to say, my brother's fingernails went into the roof, and mine, I nearly knocked the top bed off the bunk bed. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I, uh, we had to change our sheets too because they were a little wet after that. So then he went and proceeded to take the mask and the paper bag off and he put them in the, he put the paper bag, he kind of like sealed the bottom type thing and put, left the mask on and put it in the closet and said, whatever you do, you got to watch that mask. So of course me and my little brother who already wet the bed once, we're sitting there watching the mask. What we didn't know is that he put a firecracker in the mask. <laughs> so after a couple seconds, of course, there's a big bang. Well, now there's more fingernails in the roof, and we had no chains of bed sheets again. So yeah, it's the, you know the love of brothers and everything else. So, um, yeah, another story I have is uh, I'm going to say I was probably. 18 or 19 and I took the uh, girlfriend at the time to the drive-in and we it was a Friday the 13th marathon and I don't remember exactly which film it was during um, we were sitting there watching the film and everything all getting a little cuddly and whatnot and uh, trying to do what you do at movie theaters um, I wish I could remember which kill it was anyway Jason went proceeded to kill, so she jumped, the popcorn went everywhere, and then she threw up all over me. <laughs> yeah, needless to say, the mood was kind of changed after that, 
And yeah. But we want to thank thank you guys very much. Sam, hope you liked your thing. Actually, you know what? Put the other stands in there. And we'll go and we'll put all four of our picks. I'm going to go. My phone will shut off this time. Hopefully. Hey, Jean. You just moved the picture. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. So hopefully you guys like their video. Um, he's going to be sending it to... I can't remember his name now. Oh my goodness. Sorry, Sam, I forgot. Uh, the director. The director or the producer or something involved with the movie. His birthday's coming up and he was going to uh, going to send it to him, uh, get all the videos that people have made and send it in. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, the zoom is all the way out. So, did you get it in there yet? Uh, you need to move them all over a little bit. You can't really see it. I think Max's phone, phone went off again. Yeah, my phone shut off really quickly. Oh, on. you know you can fix that. Really? Yeah. Oh. We'll do that after the video. Okay. Anyway, um, well, I wanted to get a shot with it in there, that's all. Yep. Just click me. Okay, so there's our four choices. I hope everybody liked one or all of our choices. Sam, I hope this is kind of what you're looking for, brother. Um, with that, we want to say thanks, everybody, for watching. And have a fucking good day. Wait, wait, wait. You can't say that for Jason. Oh, uh, don't, don't. Welcome back to Camp Crystal Lake. Don't hide a firecracker in your brother's closet. <laughs> wait, wait, also, also, I got another joke. It's not really to find a oh. but do you know what a DJ calls it, uh, his kid? Eric, Eric? It's, it's cool. No, it's really not. My, <laughs> mine, my, mine was funnier because it was on topic. Well, thank everybody for watching, and have a slashing good day. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, we'll go with that. Have a slashing good day. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.